Hello, Virgos. This is your reading for the 8th through the 9th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe, guys. I'm going to go ahead and pull two Romance Angels cards to begin the reading. You guys are the first ones that I'm doing this for at the beginning, but let's see what we've got. You deserve love. You are lovable, for sure. Let's see what else we got. Hmm. Maybe you guys have your heart set on something or someone. Um, I see this person, you know, has their their bow and arrow aimed at something here. If you can see that, just keep its arrow. Have your eye on something or someone. Okay. Then we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Smelling the roses, getting out. Maybe if some of you guys are looking for love and not currently involved, then, you know, just getting out, hanging out, having a social life, you know, can definitely um, attract love into your life for sure. Let's see. Today we have the Six of Pentacles. Mm. Knowing that in order to have a relationship, um, you guys have to be able to, you know, give of yourself as well, you know, equally. Okay, I feel like a lot of you are at a point where you are trying to decide whether or not something is worth, you know, working on with someone. Trying to decide whether or not you have ever actually given your all to a situation. Or whether you need to end it and maybe go for something else. Is what I'm getting from this. Hmm. Maybe an Aries Scorpio individual trying to find some balance and harmony in your life, I feel. Hmm. Let's see what else we've got for you guys. Star healing. Looking for that one, I feel. Two cards flipped over there, the seven of pentacles. Trying to decide if you have done enough, invested enough here. or what you should do as far as the situation is concerned with somebody that you are definitely I feel in love with um, hmm. somebody that you once felt left out from or you felt like you left this person out okay so there's a situation here that you guys are deciding on whether or not um, to devote some more time to this or have you done enough it's like you're going back and forth have I done enough um, should I do more should I try should I extend to this person because we have you know spent a lot of time here I've invested a lot of energy and um, emotions into this situation into this person you know is it is it worth just letting it go or, you know, do I want to continue with this? Do I want to really try to work on this thing? It's like you're trying to decide whether or not this is worth continuing and working on here. Because I get that you guys feel like, you know, this person is your destiny. Or at one point in time, you felt that way. You feel like this was the one for you. Okay. And I feel like, you know, a lot of you are at the point where... You're kind of saying to yourself, you know, enough is enough is what I'm getting from some of you and looking for turning your back on this situation and looking for something that you feel like is better suited for you going out, having fun, okay, possibly communicating with someone else. But all in all, you're still trying to balance out, you know, within yourself, the, the emotions that you're feeling and what you should do about it here with the temperance, okay? Because I get that a lot of you are feeling, you know, maybe you've been with the person for a while and things have kind of like, they go back and forth, up and down, up and down, you know, blowing hot and cold, this person may be sometimes. And I think you're kind of at the point where you're wanting to get out. You, you want to get out, but at the same time, you don't want to leave this person in the financial lurch. Is what I'm getting from you guys okay you don't want to really hurt anyone but yet and all I feel like you know right now you're kind of hurting because you're not getting what you feel like you deserve 
but you're not even really sure about what you deserve is what I'm getting from you guys. Okay, let's see what your influence is here. Three of Cups. Want to be happy. Some of you guys, I feel like, um, may be dating someone, possibly while you're still with someone else. Hmm. Or either somebody involved you in a three-party relationship or you guys are currently in a three-party relationship, okay? Secretly. I do I do feel like, you know, for some of you, you guys are still with someone. And you're trying to decide whether or not you stay and work it out or you walk away and do what you feel like, you know, is best for you. Now, at the same time, it's like, You've invested a lot here. And at one point in time, you really cared about this person. You really felt like this person was the one. But I feel like you're looking at other people now. You're interested in other people. But you don't want to leave this person like in a bind. Financially, you don't want to hurt them. Um, maybe they depend on you like to to carry your portion of the bills or to take care of the children you know something of that nature but yet still it's like you know you're one balance and harmony in your own life and at the end of the day you know we're all adults and we're responsible for ourselves so it's like you're kind of going back and forth so right now i don't think that a lot of you guys are really really ready to leave a relationship um fully so it's almost like you're compromising with yourself. Okay, I'll stay here, but I'm going to do what I want to do here, what makes me happy, secretly. Not talk about it, just do it. Okay? Or either you're thinking about doing it. If you haven't already stepped out, I feel like a lot of you guys are probably contemplating that. Okay? Let's see. Oh, what's coming in is will a fortune change? This is change. This is also karma. So, I have to say this, okay, whatever you put into a situation, whatever you do in this life, um, it comes back around one way or the other. So, whatever you guys decide to do, make sure that you do it with integrity. You, you know the old saying, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Um, so make sure what you're doing is something that you feel like you would be comfortable comfortable with someone else doing towards you. It's, it's just what I'm going to say about that, okay? Whatever that means for you. Let's see what else. This is, this is for you guys to be honest. This is for you to be honest. If something's not working for you, just go ahead and cut it out. Just go ahead and cut it out. I would say, you know, don't don't let it linger on. Don't feel like you're doing someone else a favor by staying, but yet still, you know, spreading your time with someone else, else or spending your time with someone else. I would say go ahead and cut it out, break up, separate, whatever you need to do. Because at the end of the day, you know, unless they're good with, you know, you staying there and then dipping out, then I would say, okay, you know, so be it. But most people aren't okay with that. Okay. So I feel like you guys, um, eventually will you know speak the truth you will say something you will say something and i feel like you know in you parting ways with integrity you're going to bring success into your life you're going to bring in those things that you really deserve here okay you deserve love because if you're not happy here you're doing yourself a disservice as well okay um maybe you know getting out if this situation is no longer what you feel like is is serving your higher good um just separating completely from it severing ties saying whatever you know you need to say without being hurtful and um getting back out there exploring your options okay so we have um taurus aquarius scorpio gemini aries sagittarius cancer energies here um and any other air sign could be here um uh, Gemini or Libra. Okay, guys. So that is what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you soon.